Let's discuss each of the additional security features that can be applied to each of your groups. Remember, we've set up five potential buyer groups for this asset sale, and what we want to do is set the permissions and security measures the same for each of those groups to ensure that they're all in a level playing field. So if we scroll down and look to the right column, we'll see a few options showing here. Let me draw your attention to the bottom one, Digital Rights Management. So once you set digital rights management and you've granted download rights, it means that any document that isn't in a PDF format will be converted to a PDF. At that point, a watermark will be applied and your users will have to enter their credentials to open those documents. This also means that they can't forward those documents to others. They wouldn't be useful or usable. They can't print those documents. And at some point in the future, you can revoke their right to look at those documents, even though they've downloaded them. I'll go ahead and click the Enable DRM button. And as I scroll down, I see that there's a checkbox as well for Expire DRM Access. So if I click into that field, obviously I can scroll forward, select a date, and save it. And that's going to revoke access to those documents remotely at that time. If they're still a member of a group within CapLinked and they're still granted access, they would still be able to view the documents within CapLinked and its viewer. We've also got watermarking, so we would enable the watermarking. That's done. We could expire the entire workspace at some point. So although we've disabled or their access via DRM, uh, they can't look at their downloaded documents, we may expire the actual workspace at a different time, and that could be further in the future for some reason. So we would again scroll forward, selecting a date, saving, and that will terminate the access on that date. There's one more item here, which is file managing abilities. And as you see, members of this group will, with upload access to the folder, may delete, rename, and re-index files and folders within that folder. So in most instances of a asset sale, merger acquisition, capital raise, you wouldn't enable this type of activity. But at this point, we're ready to go ahead and invite our members to the group. We'll go to the next video, and we'll show you how that's done and how we manage that entire process.